Hey there, YTPC. It's your boy Cosmo, Cat Dud Piper. Hope you're having a great day. Coming to you from a Super Bowl Sunday afternoon. Not sure I'm going to upload this video. But it's been a while since I've been down here. And it's time to get back to the Paladin Piper Challenge. This time we're doing round two. I have been absent from the pipe for a while. You know, it's been a while since I put up a video been fighting the winter cold, chest congestion, nasal congestion. Finally getting better. Still got a little ways to go, though. So here we go. Number two. Kind of take a look through the bag there. I've already got the bowl packed. It's very dark. Doesn't look like there's any Virginia in there. Almost looks like black Cavendish just because it's so dark. See, take a smell, do a little bag note. Very aromatic. I'm not as saying like it's an aromatic, but it's got a strong smell, strong aroma. It is a loose leaf tobacco. Finer cut. There's a little bit of funk in there. I don't have a better word for that, but I'm not getting overly sweet. Maybe a hint of sweetness. I'm getting a couple things. I'm getting a little bit of a smokiness. Definitely feel like I'm getting some Latakia in there. And there's this hint of like an anise or anise or black licorice. Whatever you want to call it. Uh, as with round one, I've smoked this once before and that's it. I have got my uh, Savinelli Roma Lucite 114 packed, ready to go. We'll give it a little char light, a little true light, see what we got going on. Okay. Definitely uh, tastes like tobacco. Maybe a little bit of smokiness. Pretty mild charlotte, so let's get it going. It's fairly dry, but I'm having a hard time getting it going here. Right now I'm getting a lighter to medium mouthfeel as far as the body of the smoke. I did pack it a little looser. I don't know if I packed it too loose. For it being as dry it is, I'm having a hard time keeping it lit. I would upgrade the uh, mouthfeel to a light mouthfeel. Very light bodied. I, uh.
I would say this could maybe be a burly base. Definitely not getting Virginia. I'm not getting the smokiness I was getting on the note, on the tin note. Uh, maybe getting a hint of something resembling Latakia. Maybe a little herbalness. But first and foremost, I'm mainly getting a nice anise flavor. Which I'm all for. I, uh, I love black jelly beans. I know that may be a controversial take there, but... I typically refer a little bit heavier mouthfeel. Let me try a retro hell. Okay, uh, retro hill. I might get a little bit of peppery, musky, very, very, very slight. On the top of the nostril, if I want to be that specific. Get a little bit of anise, almost a little bit of, dare I say, soapy. Which to me would suggest there might be some oriental. And maybe a little bit of molasses in the retro hill. Which would kind of go with like the uh, anish a little bit. I'll explain why later. But I want to keep smoking this. Get towards the bottom of the bowl and I'll come right back. Give you some final thoughts. See if anything's changed. And maybe venture to put a guess of what this could be. I have one tobacco in mind. Um, if it's not that, I, as of right now, I have no clue what it would be. So hold on just one moment. And I'm back. And as you can see, now that I've been smoking this and gotten it going without talking, it's producing good smoke clouds. Still very light mouthfeel. Flavor hasn't really changed too much. At the same time, it hasn't diminished either, which is nice. I've been smoking on this for a little while now. First and foremost, I'd say I am getting that anise, anise, however you want to pronounce it. That kind of black licorice. And so to me, that kind of means kind of a uh, little musky, little soapy, little floral, but also molasses. It's well balanced. I. Don't know why I say this is a burly blend, but it seems like it could be a good base for this. I don't know if there could be oriental, maybe. I feel like oriental and or Latakia could be a small component in this. Is there any toppings? Maybe. I feel like that might be somewhat necessary to get the anise. 
You know, just based on what I'm tasting and what I've had in the past and what I know about a few tobaccos and the fact that Paladin tends to like more of the Kaja blends. It doesn't seem right, and I don't know what it is if it's not this. But my guess would be my mixture number, or not my mixture, mixture number 79. Which I believe is a Sutliff blend, or they picked up the tobacco and are producing it. It's a very good, pleasant, flavorful tobacco. Fairly complex. That herbal flavor might be a little bit... Again, this is going with the whole mixture number 79 in mind and the anise and molasses. That root beer might be just a hint of like spearmint in there. I'm sure if I'm right, Pat will let me know. If I'm wrong, he'll let me know. He let me know I was wrong in the first one. If you haven't seen that one, Check out the round one video. He told me what I got right and what I got wrong in the comments. So it's interesting to see how close and yet how far I was. <sighs> really enjoying this. Again, thank you, Pell and Piper, Pat, for putting me on the challenge. <sighs> Hoping to get, hopefully... Uh, tobacco's three and four pounded out later this week. See how the week goes. There you go, another one on the books. Hope you're having a great day whenever you find this. If I decide to post this before the Super Bowl, hope your team wins if they're playing. Otherwise, hope you enjoy the ads and the food, or however you want to celebrate if you celebrate. I will uh, probably watch the game if I can stream it. Otherwise, I can pull up all the ads later on YouTube. So, Anyways, that's all I had. As always, thanks for watching. God bless, and we'll see you soon.